Hey guys, welcome to Fear and Wine. We're back with our Let's Play of Stray Souls. This is part six. Uh, when we last left off, we had just stormed the uh, stormed the old police station, and now we're heading into town. Oh, well, sorry, I forgot it was at the beginning, so we could just read this little summary instead of me recapping it. The pair narrowly escaped the corruption at the police station and make their way toward Aspen Falls in a stolen police cruiser. On the outskirts of town, they hear an explosive pop from under the hood, followed by a large cloud of steam, and their vehicle comes to a stop. Noise. Damn. Hole in the radiator. Probably from when we smashed through the gate. Yeah, I mean, she got us this far. 20 more minutes, and we would have been there. Well, well, well. Oh, cool, and now we're in a Silent Hill kind of area I'm sure there's gonna be nothing but invisible how did we get through this line of police cars whatever <laughs> that don't make any sense look at all this blood that is true man that's true um what up, Vince? Magic. Whole lot of magic. All right. Let's see. What have we got going on here? So I'm not going to waste my time trying to go in these buildings because I'm sure I can't. This does not has not come across as the game of like complete open exploration. Uh, I mean, except like things like over here, maybe. Maybe a little something. Nope. Not a goddamn thing. Okay. So this is Aspen Falls, huh? Or is that the, maybe this is just a not Aspen Falls. I don't fucking know. Is she behind me still? Oh, okay, cool. You're a dead end. We're gonna have to go in through there. Oh, looks like there might be something to read right here. <clears throat> Hooray! June 6, 2000. Nobody tells you how hard it is to uproot your life and start over. It's even harder when you don't feel like there's any support system for when you fall back. Oh my God, for you to fall back on. Well, I'm here now, and I guess I'm writing everything down. Will be my substitute for therapy. I knew this change was coming, and I was somewhat prepared for it. But now that it's done, and I'm here staring at this blank walls in a place, I'll have to learn to call home. I feel completely exhausted. Uh, about a month ago, something happened that I don't know if I can talk about yet. Mostly because I don't think I'll ever be able to wrap my head around it. The one thing I do know is that when it happened, I knew something had to change. I hadn't really, I hadn't ever really questioned the beliefs my parents had raised me with until that day. But seeing the contradiction with my own eyes opened the floodgates of doubt. Saying, it, uh, saying that it provoked an existential crisis would be a hearty understatement. The worst part of it all being the impending ascension. That's what we called it when someone reached the age of adulthood. I'm still a kid, and although everyone in my community has come to the arbitrary agreement that hitting a certain age milestone made us somehow incap instantly capable of handling a whole new set of responsibilities, I simply didn't see things the same. <sighs> it goes on. My mom always said that if I had an issue with authority that I, and if I didn't get, that in, get it in check, it would lead me down a dark path. In my mind, my mother was simply the type of person who would com was com were comfortable Oh my God, what? <laughs> we're comfortable about being told how things were and accepted it without question. I've never been like that. I always clashed with her growing up. My take on things was always was to always look for the truth in any situation. And if that things didn't add up, ask questions. Sure enough, I got labeled as a rebel, but honestly, who wants to go through life as a sheep being led to slaughter? So the night before the Ascension ceremony, I threw a few changes of clothes in my backpack and just left. I had a little cash set aside for this, and it was more than enough to buy a ticket out of Michigan. Oh, this is a Michigan. I didn't even know that. Okay, and 
that's how I ended up in this tiny efficiency apartment, somewhere in the middle of arm the armpit of America. It's an old building, and I don't have many way, have much in the way of furnishings, but I'm free. Free from the stupid religion that my parents force-fed me since birth. Free from a community of people so set in their ways that they would commit unspeakable acts against others to appease their God. Free to start a new life of normalcy and do my best to integrate into society around me. My only worry is that I didn't cover my tracks well enough. Well, what objective popped up? Explore the town and find a working vehicle. All right, well, we're obviously going to go head towards the uh, blinking sign that says Aspen. Whatever's happening hit hard here. Yeah. This has been so fast. Everything was fine a few days ago, but now everywhere we go, there's just... Nothing? Just death. It's insane. Something is definitely strange. Well, I wouldn't say it's death, I mean... All right. Restroom for customers only. Okay. They probably think we're gonna ask to use a shitter. And why would we do that? We got one right here. Okay. Well, let's go around, I guess. No, oh, we're not. We can't even check, huh? Cool. Ah, that's why. Hello? Okay. No one behind the register. But there is a set of keys here to the garage. Now, where would the garage be? Oh, and that's probably not the garage. Ugh. It's probably this door. Shit, Marty, come look. We may not have to walk the whole way. Oh my god, it's in perfect shape. And it's a badass car. Who'd have thunk it? Okay, let's lower this bad boy. Wait, how do we do that? How do we do anything with this? <laughs> oh, got another note here. If you're looking for the keys to Bobby's car, they're in Ramy's pub. Uh, Ramy's pub? Ha, ah, like Sam Ramy. Uh, he decided to get shit-faced, so the sheriff came and picked him up. Emma grabbed his keys sometime earlier in the night. I guess she had the foresight for that. So wherever you, whenever you clock in, go pick up the pick those up so we can drop the vehicle off at his house. Okay, uh, so we head to the bar, grab the keys, and sneak our way back here past those things outside. And then we're home free. Sounds good. I wasn't too excited about hiking through the ass end of nowhere today. It's just strange, you know? What's strange? I mean, this, this this whole town just feels wrong. Where is everybody? It's just weird how since we got here, we've seen no sign of life besides those things. Everything looks as though there were people here an hour ago. Yeah, I'm not trying to dwell on that. The note said the keys are at the bar, and that's as good a place as any to start looking for clues. In small towns like this, the local bar gets more foot traffic than a church. And usually the owners are fairly well connected. I don't know, maybe that's where everyone went. Well, no time like the present to check. Okay then. Defeat all the monsters. Uh oh. Yeah, the facial animations aren't terrible. Uh, for sure. The monsters, however, are pretty stupid. Uh, oh, there you are. Yeah, the combat leaves a little to be desired, but hurry up and explode so I can get past you. Oh, shit! They've brought everyone back. Uh oh. Alright. Look at that guy. Huh. Oh. Huh. Oh. Huh. Oh. Huh. Oh. 
Uh, spiritual successor to Silent Hill? I hope not. I think Silent Hill would be pretty pissed. Shit. I do not have enough ammo for all this, I don't think. Especially if I'm missing. Sweet. Alright. Now we find a local bar. Alright, sweet, there's ammo. Luckily, there's ammo crates everywhere. Alright, reload it. Oh, okay, he reloaded the gun without actually showing me the animation. Good job. Now that's magic. 28. Alright, just need one more box and we're full up. Oh, yeah, hold on. I gotta grab my vape. Hold on. Alright, I'm back. Forgot I left it out in the truck. Alright. Well, let's find this fucking bar, I guess. I guess homegirl's gonna stay here with the car. We don't need health. We didn't take any kind of damage. So we'll go right. Oh shit. Whoa, no way we take some damage. What the hell? Oh my god, I'm stuck. Oh, hey. oh my god. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> Uh... Oh my god. Alright. Alright, there's that one. Oh my god, they're just appearing out of nowhere. That's not fucking cool. Alright. That one's down. Suck lead, fuck face. Fucking die! This fucking aiming in this game is so bad. It's not just me this time, I promise. Alright. Sounds good. Thank you guys for being so patient. Oh! Try to jump the gun, big boy. Oh my god, stop! I like that you get stuck in an animation. Alright, we done? Man, I'm gonna need that goddamn health now. What's my health at? 24 health. Oh, 
road. Why? How is she talking to me? I guess this is how you could uh, get away from them if you needed. Oh my god, dude. I hate how they're... So bastards. They're too small. And the aiming's really slow in this game. Thank you. Alright, is there bullets around here? Yes. <laughs> Thank God. That was getting intense. You want some, big boy? Oh, he's hauling ass. Shot me. Oh my god, dude. I can't just like. I just aim like a little bit higher. Ah, there we go. Okay, he's dead. Two headshots. Yeah, I guess there's actual like body damage. Headshots do more. It's never felt like it. And the aiming's so not very good, so it's hard to just like. Oh, I'm gonna focus on his skull. Took two uh, two rounds instead of four. All right. What the hell? <laughs> Come on, bro. Oh man, he's trying to kick me. Bless your heart. Did I ever leave all the fucking fog out here or what? Uh oh, there's something bigger. Ooh. I find they ran out of fucking creature designs, so they just bring back the bosses. I wouldn't put it past the game. Uh, we got 88 health. I don't know if we should, uh... Actually, yeah, fuck it. Alright. Oh, another playground. Oh, Jesus Christ! What is that sound? Oh, is that just you? Oh, shit. Right, let's run around, run around, run around. Oh my god, come on. Fucking die. There we go. Got old fucking long arms coming. Oh. Swing and a miss, little guy. 
do, do, do. Excuse me, I'm trying to get bullets, thanks. Oh, oh, you guys are getting feisty. Cool. Uh -oh. Come down there, little fella. Apparently that's still not enough to oh I was gonna make try to make him explode, but you know what? Fuck it. Let's read something. Local council prepares for a 142nd anniversary parade. Members of the town council have begun preparations for the annual festival to celebrate the founding of Aspen Falls. City councilwoman Daria Gillespie told his reporter, oh, told this reporter that the festi festivities this year will be the grandest yet. We're planning a full day of family fun with street vendors, artists, carnival games, and even a performance by Aspen Falls local rock and roll heroes, 12 days in June, who will be playing their radio hits starting at 8 p.m. in the town center. When asked if having a celebration so close to recent allegations of financial mismanagement by town uh, officials, Councilwoman Gillespie stated, This is for the people of our beautiful town, and we should see it as a chance to come together with our neighbors. It's just not healthy to believe unfounded rumors that divide a community. That sounds like, uh, like what she would say, huh? Okay, there's obviously... Oh, oh okay. There you are. I was looking for you, friend. Thank you. Alright, we're done with that. I mean, it still doesn't seem like the, uh... Doesn't seem like the fog's cleared up too much. Just saying. But the music has calmed down. The tribal drumming has calmed a little. Alright. Alright. See if there's any more. Like, look at all these bullets everywhere. I think they planned for that because they're expecting you to miss, like, every one of your fucking shots. Alright. Let's go out into these busy streets. Oh, there's a bar. Sweet. That is a dicey bar. Mm -hmm. That dad was an alcoholic. And this was his watering hole? Probably. The clearest memory I have is the smell of his breath when he would get home. Beer and cigarettes. It was gross, but... Also, kind of comforting. Weird. But I get that. My adoptive father wasn't a drunk, but I do remember the way he would smell after work. They were good people. Him and my adoptive mom. They were strict. They always showed me love. Lucky you. I got shuffled around the foster <sighs> system for years until a family took me in. They weren't the worst people, but I never quite felt at home there. Probably why I got a job. As I'm drunk and you're insane. Yeah. Who's going to lead us home? You still talk to them? Holidays mostly, but no, not really. 12 years in June. 12 days in June, I'm sorry. Okay. All right, let's see what this says. Somebody from Aspen Garage will be t by today to pick up the keys to Bobby's car. He, we should really ban that asshole from the premises. I swear I caught him taking a piss in the alley out back before he started all the ruckus last night. Sheriff Mason has his hands full with that fucker. Jeez. Yeah, I don't like him very much. Mm -hmm. 
do 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 sweet Finally, we got wheels oh let's get back to the car post haste yeah it's starting to rain raining blood oh shit where'd you go she's, she's with me in spirit so I guess I just run back through here again, huh? Oh man, really? They're just literally gonna make me fight them again. Ugh. Get some new material. Uh oh. Whoop. Excuse me, fellas. Oh my god, dude, these bullets are like just going right through. Like, he's just shaking them off. Alright, alright, alright. Let's get out of the bushes and maybe I can see you fucking assholes. Oh my god. What the hell am I being hit by? Oh no, it's a big titted one. Oh god! Oh my god, I have 30 health. Jesus Christ. That was quick. Oh. Let's bring that baby back up, huh? God, could you be in the, uh, at least, you know what, at least I'm in a state where they can't hit me. Alright, you're down. So your little ass can stop chasing me around everywhere. Oh. Thank you. Fuck off. Where's Tits McGee? Let's go ahead. Go ahead and get that. Oh, there he is. Can you go right from him? Okay. It certainly was a bullseye, but not enough to take him down. Let's get some ammo. Shit. Let's get some. Oh shit, I've grabbed. Well, there's like fucking 400 of these boxes, so I'm good. Two of them. We only got 12 rounds, so we need to get some more ammo. Let's go find this fat piece of sh. Ah, oh, there he is. Probably hit him from here. Change Maybe something of these bolts weren't technically hitting him. That's it. Now we gotta get ammo again. Actually, guys, that's gonna be the end of uh, part seven of our Let's Play of, I don't know why it says Shadow Warrior 3, I changed that, of Stray Souls. Um, we'll be back with part eight soon and uh, see if I get into that car and maybe out of the storm. Hope you guys are enjoying this. Until next time, peace.